Hey everybody, this is Kevin from Let Us Grow It Farm. I shot some video footage of me bending some hoops for my high hoop greenhouses. The greenhouses are going to be 45 feet long by 24 feet wide. They stand about 12 to 13 feet high. Video show me doing four sections, which are 10 foot, 6 inch sections of 18 gauge top rail for chain link fencing. It takes four hoops to create, excuse me, it takes four sections to create the one hoop. I'm using a hoop bender, which is not a difficult device to use. Uh, the more you use it, the more comfortable you get. It moves along pretty quick. I do highly suggest picking up the stand, which I'd have there. Um, it's a lot easier leverage pushing down on a pole than pulling it as you've probably seen other ones do before where they're mounted on the bed of a truck or on a table or something like that. I don't remember exactly how much that stand was, but it was well worth it. It's very easy to move around. I have two 60 pound bags of ready mix sitting on them that got wet, so they make nice solid rocks and paper bags. Um, in the video after I bend these, I'll lay them out and attach them together using 5 16 by number 8 self-tapping sheet metal screws. I use two on each joint. And then what I don't have the footage of is I taped up each one of the joints over the tops of the screws with some duct tape. And I also marked with the uh, spray paint uh, one foot from each end so that once I got them into the posts that are in the ground, I knew how deep they were. They slide in pretty well. What I have in the ground are two foot sections of one and five eighths pipe as opposed to the poles themselves, which are one and three eighths. I have the holes, I actually have the pipe is six inches above the ground attached to a six inch treated board that runs the full length of the hoop house. They're concreted in and I gave them a good day and a half to two days before I started putting the hoops in. In the video you'll see it, it's a fairly quick process to make a hoop. If you had two people it would go twice as fast. If you have one person bending the pipe, the second person laying them out and attaching them, you could have easily knocked out the 17 poles that I did here in about three and a half hours. You probably could have done in less than two hours with two people. That is pretty fast. And the savings in doing it yourself is remarkable. These 10 foot poles run just under $10 a piece. That's $40 a hoop. If you check some of the greenhouse supply places, you might be able to get hoops that are a little bit thicker. Maybe they're two pieces. You're still going to wind up paying, the last time I checked, somewhere between $125 to $175 per hoop. Versus, versus the, the $40 dollars dollars. Do it yourself. The hoop bender was about 200 bucks. Pretty easy to pay for itself after the first few hoops of savings. I highly recommend the stand underneath it. It's an additional cost, but it saves a lot of time being able to push down on a pipe as opposed to pulling on it. Other than that, it's I did 17 of these posts. I did all the posts in about three and a half to four hours. The only thing I have left to do is to put the supports in, which will have three rolls, three rows of the same 10 foot six inch posts connected end to end uh, along the top, and then two of them out a little ways. So that'll be another 15 poles per hoop house. And then I'll do two by four treated boards down lower so I can create curtains. 
and I'll do the roll up. All of it I'll make myself. It was a it was a good project and it's a lot of savings. I highly suggest if you're whether you're starting off as a hobby or you have some serious um, goals is to think about this route as opposed to spending a lot of money on buying pre-made if you're physically capable and have friends this is very worthwhile um, other than that I hope you enjoy the video there's a couple minutes left of it here somewhere and uh, check back I think we'll uh, try to get some more stuff in with a few other projects I'm doing and have planned um, the pulling the plastics gonna be quite fun I'm not sure what time of the year if it's gonna be snowing by then or not but it should make for a pretty good video thanks everybody for watching and uh, like subscribe and share I guess that's what everybody says um, we'll try to keep more coming Just a quick note, you'll notice the hoops are all kind of wonky and catawampus. Once the supports go in and everything's adjusted, leveled, and secured, everything will straighten out. I just wanted to add that in because I've had people comment, they're like, wow, that sure looks kind of uneven. It does, it straightens out. Well, it's about 1.30. I started off bending poles at about 10 o'clock this morning. So a little bit of hard work, proper tools, and uh, you can do this in less than a day. Uh, I could probably have the three supports up on those if I didn't have something else to do today. But have faith in yourself. Save yourself as much money as you can. That'll afford you better things. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, hope everybody's doing well. <laughs>